Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. Let's start with C6 followed by D5. The idea is then to develop the bishop. Probably on F4. F5 there. Um, yep, we have got a chance. So let's do it. Okay, he's willing to break open the center maybe. We can play uh, E6 trying to solidify the situation. If he takes, we can take back. If he doesn't, um, queen check will not work because bishop comes. Um, one thing we can do is queen to c7. That looks okay to me. Because if he now takes, I take. And the bishop is weakened. That's what he tries to safeguard now. We can develop the knight with the idea of coming to b6. If you place pawn forward, then it's weakening for him. You probably can play a5 this so that I'm planning to plant my bishop here. Okay, let's take this first now so that there's no discoveries on the queen later on. Takes with the bishop. I have this move. I can just plant my bishop maybe it's valid once if pawn forward he takes with the knight that's problematic okay let's fill up the knight connecting both the knights See what the open does here. Probably castling makes sense, but I doubt he's looking forward to that. That's probably the best move in the situation because the bishop is on the right diagonal. Also, the knight is planning to hop in here, maybe attacking the bishop as well as the knight. That's one of my plans. This knight can also come on to b6, attacking the light square bishop. We can play pawn forward as well in that case. So I, I feel comfortable right now with the position. Yeah, castling, as I said, was probably the right move. And open fine, found it. Um, Let's exchange the knight maybe, but then, yeah, there's no problem actually. Let's exchange the knight. We're trying to take on this knight somehow so that the pawn structure gets weakened up once he takes. If the opponent doesn't take with the knight now, I can take either the knight or the bishop. I would prefer taking the knight maybe because that's more active. Yep. Exchanges happen. Bishop comes on e4. Now there can be a tactic where he takes and if I take, he takes with the queen that comes with a check, spoils my castling and then takes my bishop. But the opponent didn't see that coming probably. And now probably I can exchange the bishop here. 
the idea is to just take the pawn so that I'm pretty good in this situation. Okay, I have to take the bishop, another option. Takes with the queen. Knight can attack the queen. Bishop on e7 would be a good move as well. Let's see what is often looking at. Um, castling can be tricky on the queen side. So time we advise also we are okay about a 30 second lead which is decent enough. He has to save the queen. I, I'm still wondering what is he thinking right now. Where to take the queen then probably uh, this isn't, doesn't work. Has to go back or here. Maybe read out the queen somehow to create an attack. Yeah, that can be nice. And oh, that's what he found. I'm not live streaming. How is he seeing that? Okay. Anyway, I can bring the bishop now, attacking his knight. He's looking forward to, I think, d5 next. Still, we'll take the knight first. Once we castle after taking the knight, I don't see any problems. So it's the time till we castle. And now the opponent is going to some disadvantage as well with the time. Okay. Bishop here will make sure that there's a bishop exchange. Is that better? Not sure. Let's take the knight away. Okay, and castle. So it's a minute lead with all the stuff. Okay, bishop is planning to come here. Okay, let's read out the knight first. Tax. I go here, attacking the pawn. This is of course defended with the queen. But let's see if he moves the queen, then he can lose a pawn there. Oh, he's giving that bishop. But he's attacking. So he's giving that pawn, but attacking my rook. So I have to move the rook first. Rook in front of the queen, not a bad option. Probably plays e5 next. Oh, saves the pawn rather. We can go here with the knight. The idea of taking, not taking the pawn, but just asking him to move forward maybe. Oh, he doesn't. That was nice. We can come back. Attacking the bishop. Uh, queen exchange might work. He's down on time. Okay. Now we have to save this. And go up. Takes the pawn. I attack the bishop as well as the pawn. Okay, he is okay. I don't want to break him open. Okay, come back. Maybe take the bishop this time. Go here. Uh, I have to save the last rank weakness. King up. Uh, go here. Um, take this. And go here. 
move the pawn forward. Okay, it's kind of an end game. Okay, I'll take this. Go here. Give the check. It's playing fast. That's nicely done. Appreciated. Draw on repetition. So yeah, he was pawn up, probably could have gone for the victory as well. Was winning on time eventually. Uh, that, that went very close actually at the end, if you saw. Uh, that was pretty much interesting. Uh, I made some mistakes somewhere, maybe letting the rooks come there at, on the 7th and 8th rank. But let's analyze the game from computer perspective once. Open started with knight f3, I played c6. Uh, d4 for by d5, Karo can defense, e3, bishop f5, c4 came and I play e6, so pretty solid till now. Oh, I had to exchange queens, okay. When I play queen c7, that's also pr pretty fine. And then maneuver my knight to d7. And then a5 was probably weak. The best move is to play, get up the bishop, okay. And then he aligns the rook. I take, he takes back. I got the knight, right? I was thinking to plant my bishop there, but I went for knight exchange first. Took it. And yeah, I, I saw this tactic coming, but probably the open doesn't, didn't. Because if this and I take, that comes with a check. And no matter how I save, he'll take the bishop as well. And this is nominating position. Uh, casting would be tough. Uh, the king is in the center with uh, extra pawns for the opponent as well. So that would not be really helpful. So I saw that coming, uh, but the opponent didn't. But took on the knight. I take back. Uh, try to attack my bishop there. What's the best move again? Uh, trying to kick the queen away. A4. I went for bishop exchange. He doesn't take. I took. He takes with the queen. I attack the queen with the knight. Bishop attacks the knight. Uh, castle first, but I took on. Takes. And then I castle. This is also pretty much okay, I would say. Just plus one fear of white, which can change in time. Uh, as you saw, he just moves bishop back and it becomes 0.6. And then I try to read out my knight uh, onto some good squares, finding right square for my queen as well, b6. Uh, Yes, rook to e8, that's what I played. Here I had to play pawn forward, but I went with knight. Comes there, I go back. Comes. Queen exchange is mad. Okay. Because that spoiled my pawn structure and lets him enter my territory as well. Again, I went in the wrong direction. If this, then also probably. He he couldn't have probably pushed the pawn, but yeah, he gets to take a pawn there. I can save this for some time, but yeah, the other rook is coming and the lineup would be nasty. Of course, I can't defend with rook on f8 because bishop is standing there. So bishop versus knight was the difference at the end, I would say. And after we exchange stuff, I try to take on pawn. I have to take the bishop there takes try to defend the situation okay it's 1.5 and it's end game so probably can't be saved unless some blunder comes from the opponent i can line up my rooks yep what i took that's also okay if i line up then pretty much same position actually lining up is giving me more negative, more in favor of white actually. How is the best, this the best move then? Because taking on brings the game in fa my favor. I think Stockfish is confused too. And after the opponent takes, I try to defend the situation again. 
and then just putting pawn forward. Do some counter play with my pawns. Opponent had actually got two extra pawn there, so that's what probably changed. Is it extra pawn? No, it's equal actually, but the position of this pawn is pretty strong. Tries to go over there, uh, had to take another option. Uh, and here I should come back. Just point one, uh, 1.5, okay. And then I come down. It takes, I go here, it saves, I had to take. Ah, here makes more sense. Trying to not give opposition to the opponent, but eventually I have to. There's no other option because, yep, he will come down eventually, take control of the squares, and I have to be pushed backwards or somewhere else. I can't even, I don't even have time to take on one of these pawns and promote to queen, so this was completely losing. Uh, but eventually, uh, we made some repetition at the end, and that led to a draw. Maybe the opponent uh, didn't see it, or maybe the opponent thought that he was losing on time. Uh, no, actually, I was losing on time. Yeah, he had nine seconds, I had five, but probably thought that nine is not enough, even after he gets a queen. Probably he should have gone for the victory there. But anyways, uh, we managed to pull a draw with the Karakhan. Uh, knight versus bishop was a difference, so yeah, I have to be a bit careful, try to protect my bishops for longer on the board uh, and exchange for knight. I hope you like the video, do let me know your feedback and keep watching and sharing. Thank you so much for your time, take care, bye bye.